Item number SCP-1162-J. Object Class Safe, Pending Review. Special Containment Procedures SCP-1162-J must be stored under Biosafety Level 4 conditions. Under no circumstances may SCP-1162-J be handled without adequate BSL-4 protection or by personnel not in full Class A hazmat gear. Personnel who have been exposed to SCP-1162-J are to be subject to post-mortem incineration. In the case of containment compromise, full nuclear sterilization is considered automatically authorized. Description. Inspection reveals SCP-1162-J to be similar in form to an ordinary bacon and cheese sandwich. Two slices of cheese are present within the sandwich determined to be and Sauce of undetermined composition has also been located within the sandwich. SCP-1162-J's anomalous properties result from its bun, which is composed entirely of fried chicken. Despite this deviation from ordinary sandwich structure, SCP-1162-J maintained its sandwich designation through unknown means. SCP-1162-J was deposited into the Foundation care on by Agent who has spent the previous two weeks on leave. Agent after ensuring SCP-1162-J's prompt containment, left directions for emulation and promptly committed suicide. Elevated levels of sodium were indeed found within the corpse prior to destruction. The ultimate origin of SCP-1162-J is not known. Packaging originally found with SCP-1162-J at the time of containment identifies it as a Kentucky Fried Chicken Double Down Sandwich, but Foundation scientists have judged it unlikely that any such product would have been designed by said company or produced on a large scale, being entirely inconsistent with all previous definitions of sandwich, as well as its property of inducing violent revulsion in human subjects. The effects of direct exposure to SCP-1162-J have never been observed, but are assumed to be rapid heart failure followed by death. Consumption in part or whole have been theorized to have the result of hazardous concentrations of sodium remaining in the corpses necessitating damage to nearby unprotected human subjects. Addendum. Testimony from research personnel assigned to SCP-1162-J has raised the possibility of a psychic lure effect emanating from SCP-1162-J, intensifying with exposure over time. This Hypothetical effect manifests as a compulsion to consume part of SCP-1162-J despite knowledge of health risk and the near certainty of permanent physiological damage to be incurred by such an action described as a morbid curiosity. As a precaution, staff rotation has been instituted. Addendum. Unverified reports have been forthcoming regarding sightings of additional instances of SCP-1162-J in the wild. I need not remind you of the potential hazard posed to the public by such manifestations. All agents have been cleared for unlimited funding with the aim of containing as many instances of SCP-1162-J as possible. Get these things off the streets and into an anomalous object retrieval bag ASAP, people. You have your orders. Richard Stillman, Site Director.